Mike. What is up, guys? It's Ivan from BernieBest.com. And hopefully the new year is uh, going well for you guys. And I wanted to do a tutorial uh, today about the wireless communication between two Arduino boards. Uh, I know we've done some uh, prior tutorials, if you watch them, on the Node MCU, which uses Wi-Fi. And we also, uh, prior to that, we did another one used, uh, that used Bluetooth. Um, both of those work fine, but of course, Wi-Fi, you need a Wi-Fi signal for it to work. And Bluetooth, basically, you're using your cell phone to see uh, the communication. Now, what if you just want to send information from one to another without having to rely on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth? And that's what we're going to look at today. So let me switch. So what we're going to use today is those little uh, modules. Uh, these are the NRF24L01, and we have two of them. And as you can see, we have a Nano here, and we have an Uno. The Nano is going to serve as the transmitter, and the Uno is going to be the receiver. So the way this works is that we have NRF module on each one, and then on the transmitter, we get a switch like this, as you can see. And on the, receive, uh, the receiver, we have the same module, but we have our, you know, the, the little RGB stick that we use a lot. Uh, so the, basically, the way the code will work, when we start both, this guy is going to be all red. And when I click this button, they're going to become green. And when I release, it becomes red again. And we're going to see how that works. Uh, now, the code is very simple. We're just lighting up LEDs. But when we look at the code, you'll see you could do anything on the receiver. You could basically start a motor, uh, click a relay. Uh, as long as you have pins, you can put anything you want. So when you receive a signal, and the signal will be dependent on the input that is being used on the transmitter. We'll see that in the uh, code also. So, so that's what we're going to use today. We're going to uh, try communicating. So there's two codes we're going to look at. The way I did it to make it simpler, because you could merge all that, and I'll talk about that after. We're going to have one code for the transmitter, and we got a, we got another code for the receiver. So let's go uh, check out the code right now. Come back, program them, and test it out. So let's go check that out. All right, so here we are on the code. Uh, like I was saying, there's two of them, one for the transmitter and one for the receiver. Uh, so you need to send, uh, since we're using the Nano for a transmitter, this one will be sent uh, to the Nano, and the receiver is the Uno, so this will be sent to the Uno. Uh, next week, I'll try to make a quick video, just an addendum to this tutorial, to show you how to combine the two into one code and be able to send uh, to both the Nano and the Uno, the same code, but in the code it will, it will decide which role uh, each one of these guys uh, take. So I'll make a quick video on that and how this is done. But for now we're going to use two separate codes, it's easier to read, and uh, next week I'll make something else. So we'll start with the transmitter. So at the beginning we're including the libraries. Uh, this is the one for the uh, wireless module. And with a finer switch pin, this is the pin on the Nano that the arcade switch is connected to. Um, also, I want to invite you guys, because sometimes I get questions about this, go to our website, berniebus.com slash tutorials. You'll find a list of all the tutorials we've done on YouTube, and each one has its, has its own page where you'll find schematic, uh, how everything is connected, plus more information, and links to download the libraries that we use and stuff like that. So I invite you guys to check out our website uh, and find the tutorial that you're interested in, and you'll get all that information. So carrying on here, uh, then we uh, decide which pins uh, the um, little module is connected to. It uses SPI pins. Uh, so basically the pins on a Nuno and a Nano SPI pins are the same one. I think it's uh, tw 11, 12, 13. Uh, so 9, 10 is the remaining one. Again, go check our website. You'll see how everything is connected. Now you have this uh, number here. Uh, this could be anything as long as it's the same for both the transmitter and the receiver as long as you started with 0x and after that just enter uh, anything you want here. Uh, basically this is hexadecimal, so f, uh, 0 to f. Uh, then we have our main setup. So we say the switch pin is an input pull-up since the switch, we're using the internal uh, resistors, and we write it high at the beginning. And then we start uh, the radio, radio is uh, the uh, little 2.4GHz uh, module, the NRF. And we're opening, uh, we're getting it ready to transmit by writing, open the writing pipe. And the, as you can see, this, this code is very short because we only have one switch. Uh, so if it reads the switch pin, meaning it goes low, uh, then the switch is activated. The sent message is changed to 111 because it was set to 000 at the beginning. And we write that message to the radio. 
And if the switch is not activated, then the message is, goes back to zero. And we write that. And that will be received by the receiver. Now let's go get the receiver. There we go. Receiver is a little bit longer, but uses pretty much the same logic. Uh, we're including the same libraries at the beginning, except the fast LED for um, our little RGB stick. Let me get this bigger here. Uh, number of LEDs, let's pin. Uh, we've done uh, tutorials on um, using um, WS2812. Uh, I invite you to check out our YouTube channel uh, to find more tutorials about using this library and the uh, RGB LEDs. Uh, we init the library for the fast LED and the received message, because in the first one it was sent message. So in this one it's called received message. Uh, same array, start at zero at the beginning. Uh, the radio pins are all the same. Uh, the pipe, like I said, needs to be the same as the other one, so they can communicate between uh, one another. Uh, the setup, that's for the LEDs. We start the LEDs in, uh, by lighting them up red. The brightness, we show them, meaning turn them on. Then we begin the radio. We open a reading pipe and not a writing pipe because this is a receiver. And we start listening. And uh, the pin mode for the LED pin is an output. Not really needed, but you can do that here. And then we have our main loop. So while the radio is available, meaning it found uh, the NRF24 module, uh, it, it's going to read, uh, read the received message from the transmitter, which in that case would be maybe 111. If it is 111, it puts all the LED greens. Else, it puts them back to red. And that's it. And a little delay just for fun at the end. So there you go, two codes, one for the receiver and one for the transmitter. Transmitter is the nano, so make sure when you send that one, you choose the right board and the right port. Uh, not, it's not connected now, but you get the, uh, the idea here. So this one would be the Uno instead, like so, and the uh, port would be different. So we're going to send both code, and we're going to go back to the testing and check it out. All right, so welcome back. So we looked at the code, we um, uh, programmed the Nano, the transmitter, and we also sent the code to the Uno right here, which will act as the receiver. There is no connection between the two, as you can see. Well, maybe not, but there you go. Uh, both are powered by a USB. These little NRF uh, module don't, really don't take a lot of power, so you can power them directly from either the Nano of the, or the Uno. So that's uh, very convenient. Uh, so everything is powered up. And the LEDs, as you can see, are red. I don't know if you can see it properly on the camera, but you can see the reflection here is red. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to click the switch right there, this one, which is connected to the transmitter. So let me do that. Let me try to grab it. And there we go, we're green. Now I'm going to release. It becomes red again. So I'm going to try now to click uh, a little bit faster so you guys can see the, uh, the time, the uh, delay. So let me go ahead and do that. There's a small delay, I would say maybe, I don't know, not exactly half a second, but still very fast, as you can see. Now, uh, I don't know if I talked about that at the beginning, but the range of these, guy, of these guys, uh, I'm all the way upstairs in my house, and I brought the receiver, the transmitter was upstairs, I brought the receiver downstairs all the way, so two floors down, and I was still receiving a signal even though I was going through two floors. Uh, technically, these guys, I think documentation says uh, 100 meters or something like that, open air. Um, not sure if it, you could achieve that. Uh, but for my purposes, and I'm going to talk about that right after this, uh, this will work just fine. So there you go, guys. Hopefully, uh, you can use these little guys in a future project of yours. Um, maybe get rid of those wires and instead have a wireless communication like this. And like I said in the code, we could have, uh, when you click a different switch, it could modify in the code the response. Right now it's 111, but it could be 222. And then when the receiver receives that, it, instead of lighting up LEDs, it would start, uh, let's say, a relay or a stepper motor. So, you know, you could do whatever you want. So there you go, guys. So uh, let's go back now to the main camera and wrap things up. All right, so that'll do it for today, guys. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful uh, to some of you, uh, and you might want to try uh, wireless communication uh, in your future project. Um, I'm going to use some of these parts that we saw today. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much today because it's still in, the, uh, uh, in my head. I haven't defined everything, but I want to modify my table hockey game. 
Um, as you know or may not know, I'm Canadian, so I like uh, my hockey and I like playing table hockey. Uh, and I want to modify mine uh, using an Arduino to make a wireless scoreboard and uh, an automatic puck uh, launcher or something like that. So when I have the plan well in my head, I'll make, uh, I'll make a video about it and we'll have a couple of videos coming up in, the, uh, in future months about this project. Uh, also, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you like these videos and you're not subscribed, please do. Uh, every time somebody subscribes, it motivates us to actually continue to do, the, do these videos for you guys. And also, this year, we're going to try real hard to make more videos. Our goal is to make one a week at least. And, but it does take a lot of time to create these uh, videos, coming up with the idea, uh, making it work, the coding, and then, of course, the videos. Making the videos takes a lot of time. So, you know, keep following us. We're doing our best, and hopefully uh, we'll come up with uh, great videos for you guys this coming year. So that's it for today, guys. So, as always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.